Okay, this is part two of the club car, golf cart, motor repair I'm doing. The parts came in early. I wasn't expecting them this early. I got my brushes in and I also bought a uh, speed resistor I'll show you. Well, this is the armature. Not much else has changed here except for I did end up pulling the bearing off. Got, I got to thinking that that bearing didn't feel all that all that good after all. So. I'm right here now. I'll just go ahead and replace it. I got a new one coming in. Bearing only costs six dollars and eighty-five cents, and it'll be coming in tomorrow from McMaster Car. Uh, it's a metric bearing. It's a forty millimeter OD, seventeen millimeter ID, and twelve mil twelve millimeter wide. The um, trade number on it is sixty-two oh three. If you ever need to get one, McMaster Car sells them. They have a real nice website. You can match up the size. Or you can get it from a golf cart place. Uh, this is the plate I was telling you about. This plate goes up against the armature like this, and then the bearing presses on. And then when it actually goes into the housing, there are some screws that go through the end, end housing there that secure the bearing in place. Although this does press on there, it's kind of a slip fit in the housing. Now, uh, this is the new brushes installed. I removed the brush plate and all the brushes and uh, cleaned everything up with mineral spirits. Got the new brushes, put them in place, and uh, I have one new insulator. That's the one I showed you that uh, broke off from the, the bolt and it would, had damaged the, uh, the square insulator inside, the, inside that bolt there. So I just, I got one brand new insulator assembly and then I'm using the old one here on this one this is in good shape in, in good shape and uh, you just slide that in the square cut out of the housing and then uh, tighten the bolt down it's a nice secure fit there's also these uh, rubber pieces here these actually slide in Oops, these actually slide in. After you put in your bolt, these slide in the end down here. I'll actually show them to you. You see one there, one there. And then when you close that up on the end of the motor, it just seals it up real good. Now, you're gonna have to hold those brushes out of the way so that when you drop your armature in, so, one of the brushes I already have set. You pull the spring out, back away, slide the brush back out, and then rest the spring against the side of the brush, and that'll keep them out of the way for you while you drop in your um, armature. You can see how that spring operates there. And then all the wiring, you have to be careful not to have it touch the housing anywhere, but it is insulated goes underneath the plate and around. There's four brushes total. Each stud goes to two brushes that are 180 apart. This wire here goes from this stud to this brush and this also under the plate over to this brush. And the other one's just the opposite of that. Here's your stud. There's your brush. The other wire goes underneath the plate, comes out over here to your other brush. So that's the assembly for the end plate with the new brushes. Now I had one other problem I failed to mention. Uh, we were at Disney World when this happened. We were camping at Fort Wilderness Campground and um, the uh, wire that I mentioned before that actually burned off the stud of the motor there. Uh, I tried to temporarily repair that just so I could get the golf cart back on the trailer. I had no intentions of running it anymore because I didn't want to get stranded. But uh, when I rewired it, the wire was kind of short and it actually went right across this, uh, what they call a second speed resistor and it was touching the resistor. And I knew it was doing that. And I know these resistors get hot in normal operation. So I didn't want to run it very long. I just wanted to get it on the trailer. So I, were, I was able to get it on the trailer. And then when I got it home, as soon as I pulled it into the garage, 
these resistors had gotten warm enough to melt through the insulation on the wire and then I had a short circuit on the between the, the what was remaining of the cable and the second speed resistor. This is the new resistor here. This is the old one. You can see where it actually almost cut it in half and then re-welded itself back together. So I went ahead and bought a new resistor and you don't want to buy too many of these because this was $26. So uh, parts for these golf cars are kind of pricey. But I went ahead and assembled in the new resistor and uh, bead, uh, glass bead blasted uh, the connections here. Just cleaned everything up real good. Put in some new bolts on the new resistor there. And uh, everything's back to normal now. Uh, the way that operates, the resistors actually re restrict the speed of the golf cart. And there's a series of relays. You can see that on one of my other videos. Um, but when you first engage the, the first speed of the golf cart, uh, the current to the motor actually travels through all of these resistors and then as you push the pedal down the relays start to close and short out uh, the resistors uh, one right after another until um, the only thing in the circuit is the motor and the battery so you can have high speed but what this enables you to be able to slow down and operate at slower speeds so uh, also want to mention um, when this uh, wire shorted out on this resistor here it actually welded itself down and uh, I lifted the seat on the golf cart and when I did I had sparks, I had smoke, I had a little bit of fire and this resistor was glowing white hot and to be honest with you I damn near had a heart attack but I was able to grab hold of the wire, the cable and, and break it free from the resistor and uh, stop the short circuit but that was pretty scary so but anyway this is everything I've gotten so far I'll probably make a third part of this video uh, showing it all put together and running again so I'm pretty pleased with how it's turning out so far the new brushes fit real nice um, re new resistor fit nice armature looks like it's in good shape I am going to take a some 400 grit sandpaper and just work on that commutator a little bit, but it's not it's not really in bad shape at all. So I think we'll be back to back to new here shortly. Thanks for watching.